Hello, it's Glenn Fisher here, and in this video, I'm going to talk you through how to set up a WordPress uh, website. Uh, and I'm going to literally show you how to do it, work through, try and set one up myself live in front of you here, um, so you can see all the things you need to click, all the things you need to fill in, and then give you a very, very brief background on the kind of stuff you can do with WordPress. Uh, what I want to do in over the next few weeks, in short, is give you uh, the platforms from which you can launch your own thing. Uh, so I'll show you how to do the website. Maybe um, in the next uh, installment, I'll show you how to get some new customers and just give you the kind of um, suggestions and basics that you can then go and um, adapt yourself and tweak yourself. Now, it's the first time I've used uh, this screen recording thing and I'm currently talking into a microphone that's coming out of the headphones and I much look like I'm bringing an uh, aeroplane in from for landing um, but anyway there might be a few hiccups with this uh, but we will try we will endeavor so let's get started first thing to do straight on the internet now I'm using a um, laptop that was lying around the office so this might not be the fastest most efficient thing in the world but I want to start off by going to wordpress.com and that should load up and here we are. And as you can see, this is WordPress. There's a load of stuff here. We do not care about that for the time being. All we care about is the Get Started Here button that should be in the left-hand side of your screen. Click on that, and we will be taken to the sign-up page. Now, this really is very simple, um, uh, but I've, I've received a lot of emails from people uh, who have got um, a little bit confused here and there with regards to this, so I'm going to just walk through every uh, step of it uh, with you. This first part is obviously registering your account with WordPress, and as they say, it takes in seconds. A bit of copyright in there from them. Um, so, blog address for now, we will call it Glenn is cool, uh, which is a fact. We will put my username as the same, and you can see here it says. Uh, Glenn is cool available uh, dot com is available sorry uh, you can use it for we'll look at buying domain names and registering that later on um, don't worry about that for now just say no to that um, the other thing to note if you type in a name in the blog address here um, which is already being used it will come up and tell you um, but for the time being obviously Glenn is cool. Not too many th people think that or would want to use that as their business name. So I will put in a password here, and you can see a strong one there. I usually do a capital and a few letters and a few numbers. And an email address will just put. Oh, press the wrong. Excuse me. Press the wrong thing there. Put that in there and then English sign up we are away and it will tell you that an email has been sent to your inbox um, to register your account it should arrive within 30 minutes if you do not activate your account within two days you'll have to sign up again so we now can jump to my inbox and there it is from wordpress.com saying howdy thank you for signing up with wordpress.com you one click away from blogging Glenn is cool blah blah click on there to activate it that will open up a new email your account is now active your blog at Glenn is cool WordPress is active you may now log in right so uh, when it comes to logging in, I won't just jump from here. I'll go back to WordPress.com. Um, and when you go to there, you will see at the top here, there's a bar for logging in. So if I put my username in, when it's cool, and my password, and then you can do it so it remembers you. You log in and touch wood. Um, just wait there a sec because my uh, this will just keep beeping with emails if I don't get rid of it. There we go. And we'll close that. Um, and there we are. 
bingo we are logged in as me uh, and you can fill in your profile details um, there you can see I'll let you look at that because it's not that complicated you can it's it's quite self-explanatory go to edit profile you can um, fill in various bits so you put your first name in Glenn etc Fisher all this stuff um, your gravatar I have no idea what that word means or how that avatar and all this stuff came to into meaning but that's essentially a picture so you can do all that but what you're interested in is if you go under the blog thing and go dashboard this is where you run your website from basically and this is where you spend all the time so welcome to wordpress.com you should use WordPress um, or the training tools because they are very good. Uh, WordPress TV um, here is brilliant. You've got 24/7 support. A um, lot of lot of stuff on WordPress to help you um, get started and get yourself set up. So definitely spend some time when you've got a spare few hours uh, on a weekend or in an evening. Um, you can see here they've tested it. So that this is comment. Uh, to show that that's testing and you can see um, I'll come back to that actually first of all this is your we can dismiss that it's just not an up-to-date version of Internet Explorer this is your dashboard and here you've got a general thing saying how many posts you've got how many pages you've got uh, how many comments you've got waiting here you can do a very quick update for your blog um, there's no drafts saved stats this is a great thing obviously we've got no visitors yet but you'll be able to see um, how many visitors are coming into your site each day what um, page to looking at very useful and then slowly but surely as you get further and further down here it becomes slightly more pointless and you don't need to worry about it so all you need to worry about to begin with is fulfilling your site with a some design and B some content so with regards to content that's quite simple I'll let you explore this yourself do email me if you want some more on this and I'll do another video but essentially down your sidebar here you've got posts and you go to add new post it's all very self-explanatory and you give the post a title so uh, oh, when setting up WordPress it can be the title and we'll put some content saying today uh, I showed people how to set up, oh, up a WordPress website. It was quite easy to do. Sign that off for Glenn. And then you can change this you can make one bit bold or italicize it um, and you can underline stuff you certainly don't need me to um, show you all that but you can centralize it if you want uh, all very simple obvious things you can see here that's your visual setting so you can do all that or if you're some futuristic man who can uh, a woman who can do all this HTML stuff which I know a bit now because you generally learn a fair bit on the job but uh, you can do it straight in there and that's good as well uh, for more advanced when you start posting videos uh, from YouTube and stuff like that again I'll I'll cover that separately I just want to give you a very quick overview of of how simple it is to do and get content on your website so that's the uh, the article there let's put that back there this is a bit weird uh, you can save it as draft you can preview it um, so we'll preview it just for the sake of it and that should bring up now you can see it's already given me some kind of design we'll look at design again in a minute but um, you can see there Glenn setting up a WordPress on 7th of September today I showed people and there's your thing now look at that you can uh, share it on WordPress you can share it on Twitter you can share it on Facebook you can press you can like it um, within that you can start to see there's a lot of stuff already built into this WordPress site um, that is very very helpful um, to you now we'll close that for the time being and we will before we publish it here's a quick tip scroll down here and you'll see tags and this 
will come in later down the line uh, when you're kind of looking at SEO and stuff like that. But if you give every post you do some kind of tag, so I'll put Glenn Fisher in. That's one tag. Um, you could do WordPress as another tag. And these slowly start ranking for um, searches. So I'll also put uh, banana in there. So if anybody searches for banana, is that how you spell banana? Banana. Oh well. Um, you add them and you can obviously take them away, so we'll take away banana. And you can also choose from your most recent tags later uh, once you've established some if you want to keep tagging the same thing. So obviously I'd tag Glenn Fisher every time. But you can generally see that and that, that will help. Try and do that. Try and put the themes of whatever you're discussing in your content in there. Um, that's very helpful. But other than that, you're kind of done. You can categorize this. Again, we'll look at that later another time. But essentially, publish that and we are done. We have published a bit of content. And if you can just keep repeating that, um, that's how you build content on your website. So um, very, very easy, as you can see. Now, one other thing I'll show you today, because um, obviously there's a lot to take in, but hopefully you can watch this video and pause it as long as you go along. But if you look under appearance and go to theme options, oh, sorry, I've given you the thing. Go to themes. Um, if you go to themes, you will see, should do, hopefully. Here we go. A load of things load up. Now, a lot of these are absolutely free um, and all you have to do these are already built in designs so you can just preview that one for instance and what it will do is show you how your website would look in that particular theme you can see there the post that I just did um, and as I say you can just work through this and have a look uh, see what you like if you want to activate one you just activate it and that will literally change all of your WordPress thing uh, to all of your site into that uh, design, uh, which is very useful. So if you got bored, you could actually change it. Then if you go into theme options, as I said earlier, that's where for each theme that you choose, you'll see various different options. Uh, so you can make it a dark color scheme. You can swap around the sidebars uh, and various things like that. Um, you can play around with this as much as you want. You can see in appearance you've got header. This is where you can change the picture at the top of your thing. So you can make it something uh, appropriate to your niche or just use one of the uh, ones that are already here. And there's various bits and bobs, background color, uh, the menus, and the widgets, which we'll look at a, a completely separate time. I'm not going to touch on that today because there's quite a lot to discuss on that. But you can see it's all very simple. And then whenever you want to see what your uh, website looks like, up here, Glenn's cool. And there it is. I changed it to the dark option. I changed it to the Pilcrow theme. And you can see it's come up and I've start to get a website. I'm starting to build a website. Um, very simple. At the moment, this isn't ready to go out. This, I don't want other people visiting this. I don't want people looking at it. Um, I'm not hoping to get customers to this. All I'm doing is setting this up. And what the intention is now is to load this with content, as much content as you can find. Um, write as much new original content on your niche as you can find and just start loading up. If you do that, if you go away, go, follow my uh, instructions again, WordPress.com, set it up, put as much content on your site as possible, play around with the design a bit until you're happy. Um, any questions, email me, but get on with that. Take your time, do it in your spare time, do it when you've got half an hour tonight, uh, an hour of the weekend. Just get on with it and we will look at the next stage next time. Remember what I said uh, in my uh, previous bulletin about taking your time that slow and steady wins the race that's what this is really about just taking your time getting bits set up step by step and eventually you will set up your own little little business online which could be very effective so have a go at this email me with any questions shortcut bulletin at agora.co.uk or just hit reply to shortcut bulletin um, that you got sent this in 
and uh, I will do my best to help you. But I hope you found this useful. I hope it works okay, and I hope you can hear everything fine. Uh, I'll speak to you again soon.